Hi everyone, <clears throat> let's talk a little bit about um, the different restrictions I could experience over the days um, in the different countries I stayed in. I can talk about Chile, where I have been at the beginning of last year. I can talk about Germany, where I have been at the end of last year. Morocco, where I'm now already for already two months almost. And I can talk a little bit about France and maybe Croatia. So in Chile, they probably had like the hardest restrictions um, I've experienced. They really had uh, the state of emergency called out. They called for complete close of all the stores except the supermarkets. And that combined with the riots, um, they also declared state of emergency so that the military can have a curfew over the night. That means they are, you are not allowed outside during the night and the military uh, would have arrested you or something. I haven't tried it so I can't really say but um, yeah that was pretty strict and apocalyptic and the stores were open you were only allowed to go into a store with a mask and then it turned out um, after some weeks it was like you were only allowed to go outside in public with the mask in the city and then you had to uh, wear a mask everywhere when you go outside out of your house and we did like this two week quarantine where I was only in my house and then it got too boring and we had to go shopping and everything but the mask wearing was like too annoying and you get like a temperature check every time you go into a store so it helps or not and there were like rows and rows of people that want to buy stuff because so many stores were closed but somehow like the Chileans are very calm and relaxed most mostly <laughs> the students not so much but uh, the everyday Chileans are very re relaxed and they got along very well with it and it was livable when I went from Valdivia to the, the main city of Santiago for my flight they had looked even more catastrophic at like military on the street and and the carabineros which are kind of also part of the military but more like police and doing like car controls and having stops and ten. and when we were driving with a bus to the airport there was um, a stop where we had to get out and everyone got the temperature taken and they had a system in Santiago at least I think they also have it now in Valdivia and other states too in Chile where you have to have a, a QR code, a pass. You have to register online, say what where you are going, and then you have to get like a pass so that you can are allowed to go outside. And you can only have, I mean, regarding to the situation, you only two per week. Or maybe you can go out two times per week. But if you have like a job, maybe you can go out off more often. But for shopping at least or personal stuff, you can only go out twice per week. So that's kind of draconic they couldn't uh, uh, there would be very hard to do something like this in Germany so in Germany basically okay when you come from the airport um, there were no controls or anything it just said okay you have to do a QR code and the regulations uh, no, no you have to do a PCR test and there was a test center where you get, can do it for free if you just say from which flight you were coming. And if you don't do this and uh, the health ministry finds out because you have to f file out a piece of paper in the airplane with your information and then this paper gets to the health organization, a uh, health agency of the government and then they asked you, hey, did you take the test or not? What was the result? And we didn't register one. And then they can fine you. And it's like, I don't know, $500 or something. So they say like, oh, the, the fines are like $30,000, but this is mostly for store owners that don't comply. Or if some police or so come to the store and they see that you have people sitting in there without masks, then they can fine you 30000 and the people with masks, I don't know, they get like 100 or 80 euro fines, 
cool aus. What it's actually. But uh, restaurants are all closed. Um, they can't have people in there. So they are all uh, doing as much as they can with takeout food and have it that you can order it and they cook it for takeaway. And then yeah, the stores are like normally open. Curiously, there's like different regulation maybe from store to store. So some stores you really have to take a card with you to, which is to help like social distancing. So with a card, obviously it, it's perfectly fine that you can keep like your six feet distance or two meters, who knows. And uh, you have to wear a mask and yeah, you don't have to hand sanitize or something. But there's one store, Rewe, where you don't have to take a card with you and where even the staff at the at the cashier, I'm not sure if they even are allowed to sit there without a mask because they have like this boundary. Yeah, it's like super crazy and what's it for? It's not helping at all. Cases are going up, so it's just ridiculous. And what, what else do you have? Yeah you're not allowed to meet people and you can only have like uh, at the end of the year it was like oh you can have only like nine people from one two households and when you have a friend over then at the beginning of this year it was like you can only have like one person in, in your house from another household but yeah they're not saying anything regarding to oh this person can only visit one household per day so what's when this person visits like doesn't Households because they have so many friends. Yeah, they don't think about something like that and they just uh, act actionism and try to do something that that it looks like they have something under control. So in Croatia it was a lot nicer uh, at the beginning when I was there in July. Um, it was very re relaxed. Nobody outside was wearing masks. You had to wear a mask in public transport, which I never used and uh, in the stores and like I, I went there two weeks I went to the stores without a mask and then they were like telling me can you please wear a mask like okay I, I followed this so that they don't get into trouble because I also have like these laws that when you get into a store and you don't have a mask and then you can get heavy fines um, with the gyms the gyms were open and you had to do like a cleaning pro protocol so it's basically just you go to the gym you have like your gym shoes you don't have to wear a mask or anything stupid uh, you just have to wipe off your gym equipment after use so yeah this is perfect completely enough for healthy people i don't have any problems there and that was a really really nice time i really enjoyed it and after i left I think a few months later they shut down the gyms too and yeah let's see how that's helping apparently not because they're still closed uh, still have trouble so yeah at the end of January I flew to Morocco and now I'm here and here it's basically yeah outside basically you have to wear a mask but well, it doesn't like people just wear it around their chin I, I just put it like around my chin because it doesn't help anything anyway uh, some areas like where not much police or something people are also walking around without mask at all uh, doesn't matter anyway because there's like thousands of people in, in like the old Medina with the markets with the narrow alleyways and you have like hundreds and hundreds of people together and yeah not having you have to wear a mask yeah, everywhere from the regulations but it's like very relaxedly followed and yeah without any um, I don't know nobody getting sick and what else yeah they're doing like this vaccination and everything apparently they're doing it very fast I have no idea what kind of vaccination they're getting but yeah I don't care about that much the restrictions are very low you have a curfew from 9 to 6 in the morning I think so that's a little bit sad but apparently I heard like that Morocco is Rabat the city I'm in Rabat is very chill anyway during the night 
So that's okay. The stores they have to close at eight. So when you are hungry at seven or like half past seven, then it's very you have to hurry up and try to get some food very fast to take away. So that sucks. And other things is that some attractions are closed and they use this to have a lot of construction now going on. So they're re repairing all the sites and building a lot of stuff and they have big plans for the future. So at least they are, they seem to stay optimistic. They're using the situation that uh, there are not so many tourists standing in the way now and they're using it to build a little bit and do some construction while nobody is standing in the way. Other than that, um, what was there else I wanted to talk about? Yeah, I could talk about France where you basically had to wear a mask inside all the places and you could take it off when you sit down. Um, yeah, and the French somehow are following it. Not so, revolution not so revolutionaries there. They are just following it all and wearing a mask and then go to McDonald's and eat all the burgers and I don't know. They have very very great food in the supermarket. I could could have bought like tons and tons of great food and so delicious things. But somehow a lot of French people still like to like Burger King and fast food more. Yeah. Other than that, most people seem to be like in the countryside, in their in their country homes where they are a little bit in peace, and there nobody looks much at regulations either, um, and they won't have any problems there. Yeah, in the city is probably different, more stress. Other than that, yeah, I hope that yeah the the new regulations from the WHO that helps with um, testing the PCR test using less cycles and having a positive PCR result not as a positive case but that needs to be confirmed by a doctor or a second test and I hope that that helps to reduce uh, the cases and we have also like in the United States where they are now out on and about to, to just finally end it all because they're sick of it and they don't want to ruin the president <laughs> so they are want to end too so that we can end this yeah I'm looking forward to it but I don't think it will end soon in Germany they're just doing like yeah the politicians they have all the money they need they can have it they have a super chill life and they're just feeling that they have to be important and they have to do something and they are just in panic the news are just helping to stir this panic and so they get like in a lot of actionism and trying to do something that yeah that are paid for and try to seem important otherwise they would probably be afraid that they get kicked out of office and, and lose their, their, their nice money and their, their power and their importance yeah yeah if you are still in Germany or in Chile I wish you best of luck stay safe um, yeah wear your mask or you get fined so well, that's protection against fines if you have to and yeah and stay care take care that in stores that you follow the regulations there because store owners owners can have heavy heavy fines and you wouldn't want them to close down because of that and have yeah so much additional financial burden where it's already so difficult all the best and have a wonderful day